So far our game is looking pretty good. But let's engage the user a little bit more. Let's make a version of this game that's controlled by the mouse and a version that's controlled by the webcam. We'll work with the player in the scripts tab and first we will disconnect this part of the script which is what deals with the keyboard input and we'll instead replace it with this one block which is very useful go to mouse pointer you can see what that does in fact most of us are so good at mousing that this game would really be too easy I could add more obstacles and power-ups so that the game gets progressively harder. And in fact, in the last section in this video series, we will do something like that to a maze game. But for now, I want to show you a new feature in Scratch 2.0, and that's video control. So we'll take this mouse pointer thing out of the way for now. And in sensing, we'll get this block turn video on. We'll put that there above the forever block. I'm going to drag the cat to where we can see it. And just so we don't go crazy for a moment, I'm going to disconnect the code from the fruit and from the donut. And now when we run the game, you're going to get a dialog box that double checks that it's okay to access your camera. Hello there. We'll use this video input to control the cat. We'll make it point in the direction that I wave. Obviously, to make this work, you'll need a webcam, you'll need some decent lighting, and you'll need a background that doesn't have a lot of motion in it. From motion, we'll work with point in direction. From sensing, we will get the video direction on this sprite. And now when we run it, go. When I wave at the cat, he changes direction. Here, I can my chin, I can make a move. There. Now let's add a motion block. To this forever block. We'll make the cat move in the direction and this is, you can see why I briefly disabled the falling objects because this is just a little bit too chaotic. Yeah, this is this is a bit much fun but kind of hard to control. Okay, so let's tone that down. Scratch can also sense the amount of motion on a sprite and so what we'll do is we will add a if then block and if with a greater operator if the video motion on this sprite is greater than 10 we will move the cat 10 steps so that's how we'll assemble it and now the cat will only move when i give it a little nudge okay and i can kind of grab the cat i can kind of control it with a little practice i can control the cat with my fist okay so Let's go back to the fruit. I'll reconnect that code. The donut. I'll reconnect that code. And let's see what we get. <coughs> Come on. I'm not doing so well. Okay, well. I feel much more engaged in this game. Um, I can't just sit back and relax. My whole body is engaged in this game. All right. A game that uses video input this way would have to be very engaging to the user and very forgiving and have to give a, sort of a lot of feedback. Okay, well, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of exhausted from this section. For the next series of videos, we'll do a point-and-click adventure game. Change of pace.